I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the UK and I love scrapbooking. So today I'm gonna scrapbook a layout using the gorgeous Stargazing DSP and a few other bits and pieces as well. And uh, last time I used this DSP, I made a layout um, that was all about space and NASA and things, and it worked brilliantly. So this time I thought I'd try and make something a little bit different and show you how you can use the papers a bit differently. So I'm going to be using some Disney pictures. These are from Disneyland when I went in 2019. I've never done Halloween, Disney at Halloween before. Um, and I'm also going to be using a sketch from an event that's happening on a forum that I'm on called Disney Scrappers, which I love because I'm a Disney fan and a scrapper and it's perfect. And um, they're doing a, a June an event in June called, did I just say that? Sketchathon, sorry if I did, um, where they're releasing a sketch every day and you get to create throughout June, which is wonderful. So I'm going to be using this one. Um, it's by Susan Stringfellow. She's great. So let's get started. I've already um, printed out my photographs. I'm just going to cut those down. The layout's actually got quite a few photographs on it. I'm just going to cut with this cutter for one minute. You know, sometimes you just know what you're doing with certain cutters and certain tools. And that way. Right, so there's four photographs. So Mickey is my four by six. Minnie's gonna be my four by four, but whether she's actually four by four, don't know, I don't wanna cut too much of her hat off. That's my three by four. And then this one, two and a half by two and a half. I'm just gonna cut little Donald down to an okay size. It might not be the exact sizes, but that's the joy of a sketch, isn't it? So yeah, so she should be four by four, but four by four, hmm. I don't want to cut too much mini off. What's that actually measure? Five and a half. I haven't cut very much off. I've already cut the top of her head, a hat off, so maybe it won't matter too much. Oh gosh, I hate cutting detail off photographs. Uh, what are we up to now? I'd feel better if it was a little bit smaller. Four and a half, that's fine. We're going with that. Four and a half by four. <laughs> now, Donald, you're going to have to be cut right down, mate. Two and a half by two and a half. Oh, two and a half. Much bigger than I gave it credit for in my head. Okay, that's fine. Two and a half by two and a half. Um... Two and a half. Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right, so they're my photos. Oh, I like the fact, see, I've I flipped this photograph around. The original is round the other way, but I like my, char my characters, well, my photos actually looking into the layout. So he's the right way and he wasn't, so I flipped him. Okay, I'm going to mount these photos onto white to begin with, and then... I'm going to start cutting some paper. I'll, I'll be back. What other colours? I like to have a double mat usually. Well, they might look all right actually on white. So now these, I didn't really talk about these papers. So the papers are, um, you have two sides. One side is very spacey and planets and beautiful. And the other side is these bright colours, which are also a sort of spacey colour, but they're also Halloween colours. Also, I was thinking they're probably quite party-ish or alien, if you want to do alien-y type things. Um, yeah, but they are, I couldn't believe how perfect they are for these photographs. So, um, now the sketch doesn't have a border, but I like a border. Um, so I am going to have one and I'm going to have, oh, I didn't realise I had a big circle cut out of that one. Okay, that might make my decision for me. 
my background's going to be white. Let's have a quick look and see. The green works as well. Oh no, I've got a fly. <laughs> I have to ignore the fly, I'm sorry. How many pieces of paper do I need? One, two, three, four, five, mm, quite a few. I'm going to have a think and I'm going to come back. All right, I think I've got a bit of a better idea of what I'm going to do. I am going to put a border and I'm going to do this green, which I've totally forgotten the name. Was it Lem? Is that the new lemon lime? Hang on, I must get it right. Lemon lime, it is, it was right. Generally not good with names, so. I'm not gonna have a very big border. I'm gonna cut this white down by, um, half an inch on two sides. It might be a bit big actually. Uh, oh, what the heck. Half an inch on two sides, so that will give me, um, an 11 inch square yes and then i think i will gut this i'll gut it at an inch this is so zingy this paper isn't it it's amazing <laughs> One of the new colours that have come out in the new catalogue, the new Stamping Up catalogue. Oops. What's amazing is that sort of, you might see these colours and think, well, they don't go together. Well, I suppose you wouldn't naturally put them together, but they really work. And they're most perfect for um, Disney Halloween. Who knew? Okay, let's stick this on here. I just love the way this frames the page and also because it's the coordinating colour, it sort of brings a page together. I don't always do it, but I, I do often do it. So we've got that. Right, now let's get my photograph. Oh gosh, I'm going to be in front of the camera, sorry. Let's get these photos in sort of the correct position. So that one's slightly underneath. That one's there, and that one's going to be there, and they're going to sit like that in the middle of the page. Oh my life, I love it already. Now I'm going to start under here with, um, there's a layer here, here, <laughs> and I'm going to make it this colour, which is the berry burst. So I am going to cut it at six. And it's just got to, it's going to, a lot of it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to go six by four and a half. Uh, four and a half. Six by four. Yes. Why does that make my mind suddenly do a, <laughs> do a somersault on itself? <clears throat> okay, so that's going to sit. Because I cut it wrong, did I? Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> Panic stations. So that's going to be up like that. That's going to sit around like that. <laughs> okay, let's get the other layers cut. I think I might do that off camera so I don't bore you and then I can show you putting it together.
All right, I've cut all the pieces up. I still want to make that the blue one into a banner. So the um, sketch has this little bit poking out here, which isn't, which is another piece, but I didn't have another piece of coloured paper that I wanted to use. I thought about using some of the black or planets, but then it would look a bit strange. So I've just gone for the very burst one over on that side again. Now I've also just realised I need to double map my photographs. Unless they look all right on the white. I mean, I'd probably usually do the same colour. But then I've just realised I've got my green there. So that's going to... I did think about doing it in black. Where are you, black? Um, I think it might look a bit in your face. Part of me likes it. I might be even white. Okay, I'm going to make this into a banner. Oh, with some scissors. <coughs> oh my god, tickle! Oh, I just, there's probably another way to do this. I just bend so there's a, a fold in the middle. I cut up about a centimetre and I cut from the corners into that. Sometimes it works out brilliantly, other times, you know, not so. So that one sits down like that. Oh, I've cut that one a bit. I cut my banners a bit deep. I might have to cut my green down a bit or just ignore it. Oh, there's a lot to try and wrangle in this. Now, in the sketch, there is a piece of some, something behind the four by six. Now, I really like it when Susan does this because it encourages me to use, uh, where are you? I got you out special. Oh, I'm going to I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> Vellum. Now, I don't know whether the idea is that it's vellum. But I always take it to be vellum. And I quite like it because vellum gives a whole nother feel to a layout. So I'm going to mount old Mickey onto vellum. And I don't use it enough. So I'm going to stick it on here. I give it a really good border. My trimmer of choice for matting and layering is this one. <laughs> My oldest tool that I own. I'm just going to cut that down. So it looks about equal. It's a bit too much. All right. Sorry, <laughs> I'm being perfectionist now. All right. It just brings another, because it changes the colour of the paper underneath it, which I really like. That's going to sit there, that's going to sit there, that's going to sit there, that's going to sit there. Okay. I'm going to stick it down. And I'll come back and we'll talk about embellishments and what we're going to do. That took a little bit of more than I expected to date, but it's there now. I'll just glue that one down a little bit. So it's sticking up a bit because I had to move everything around. All right, so all the gang are on the page. So we've got a few little bits and pieces to do. Title, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it in black. 
hoping it won't be too too in your face now I haven't got any embellishments I haven't got anything stamping up wise that I can use I haven't got any pumpkins I haven't got anything but I thought that hang on which one is it this one this is the Reach for the Stars, which is the coordinating um, dies. Now, in these dies, there are these beautiful circles. So I'm wondering if I can make a Mickey head. Just wondering whether I should make it orange. I haven't got any eyes or anything, though. Maybe I was, I was just going to make it black. I don't know now, looking at that, but that's big enough. Is that the right size? They look too little. I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna cut it out of black card and I can I'm gonna see if it's the right proportions and if it looks right. I'll be back in a mo. Hmm. I'm not totally sure it's right. As in, I know it's only three circles and how could it be actually wrong? But I don't think the size of the circles are quite right to make it look. It's a bit too much like a Mickey, what are you going to do with you? <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone's going to make a note, make a noise about it. But and now I've got it on there, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. So anyhow, I just wanted to play, it, and you definitely can make Mickey ears with it. Right, so we've got these other clusters here, this thing here. Now, I did pull some twine off, but it's, it's probably not the right colour, actually. I could ink it. What I really need is the ink colour twine. I don't even have any of the inks. Oh, I do have blueberry push sure. Have you tried inking this twine before? Is it going to work? Blueberry bushel. I'm going to have a go. <laughs> this could be the. This could be messy. I'm going to have a go, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is how I decided to do it. It is working, but is it going to dry? I mean, that's the question. I thought that if I just pulled it through like that, it would colour it all but that was wishful thinking on my part so I'm using one of the blending brushes and I'm just we well, can see what I'm doing am I going to get covered so I start to get blue blue fingerprints all over my layout <laughs> I don't know, it's worked enough. All right. So that wasn't a disaster yet. Ooh. So that's blueberry bushel that I used. The only thing is, obviously, I shouldn't have stuck my photograph down quite this instant. Um, and there's also a banner here, which I could um, do myself but I found that in the all that dies which are current look little banners I'm just wondering if those other dies were any of use I'm gonna cut them out in I might go green and blue green and blue maybe to mirror maybe 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 Oh, the blues, I've got this dark, the twine in blue, haven't I? Um, oh, 
Oh, it's a thing everywhere. Too green? No, not too green. Green. Well, I'll cut it out in the blue and then see what we think. I say we, like you're helping me. Be good if you did. Give me a shout. What do you think? What colour would you use for the banners? Oh, I'm wondering about the two green, actually. Well, I've got them just sat there. Yeah, so these are the all, what's it? All that dyes. Quite like them. Green and blue. I'm going to also, off camera in a minute, I'm going to cut out a load of stars that are in the um, Reach for the Stars um, dies so that I can use them around and about as well. I think I might just do that and then I can come back and we can put it together. <coughs> okay, I cut out a load of stars in all different colours. Aren't they pretty? Um, still not sure about that, but I might just go with it just because <laughs> I haven't stuck those banners down. So I've tied the um, blue twine just around the uh, photo. Um, I'm also not 100% sure about these, but they're there. They're going to do it. I don't know what else to use. I think the pink, if I use the pink might just be too much pink berry burst maybe i should say donald keeps moving around now i'm gonna i'm gonna plump i'm gonna go with my mickey head oh even though look she's oh looks like it's in the looks like it's trying to be mini <laughs> to use it somehow. So then that looks like that's trying to be that. And that's totally, that's not right either, is it? I thought I might put it there and put some stars coming off it or something. Where's the orange on? Where's the orange? I don't really know. <laughs> well, I'm going to play with that a little bit. I'm going to put some stars along here as well, in some way or other, some form or other. Oh, oh they're fiddly little things. Which reminds me of Pretty Woman. I was going to say slippery little suckers. <laughs> I'll do something like that on that one. I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to do a title with some stars around it. So I'm going to have a little think of what my title's going to be. Let's have a look if the alum, uh, alphabet alum mode is actually going to work. If I can lay my hands on the dies. That's what happens when he starts... Scrapbooking, the whole place is absolutely in disarray. Hmm. I think I'm going to call it, because I called the gang. Let's see, is it too big? Hmm. Oh, it is a little bit. Two G's. Ah, oh, don't have two G's. The gang. Mm. 
I'm gonna have a think and I'm gonna come back. But I do think we're gonna, I might put the little bit higgledy piggledy along there. And cut that in black and see what I think. Okay, I've had a little play. I'm not sure about this Mickey head at all. But at the moment I'm going with it. I feel it looks a bit more like a children's craft project. But maybe once the glue's dried. So I just stuck a load of little stars on it. I want to make it glittery or something. Um, I thought about using these, but they're not the right colours. Even though you wouldn't really know with the blue and the pink one, would you? Um... The gang I'm going for, I'm going to sprinkle some, I haven't stuck these, this down yet, I'm going to stink, sprinkle, oh, can't speak, sprinkle some stars around there, maybe some more stars around there, and have a rethink of that a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. I'm nearly there, I think. <coughs> so, here we go. I have stuck down the title, I have put some stars, and I went for a few gems. I have gone with the Mickey head. I think it's okay. I've stuck some gems on there as well. It's beginning to look a little bit less arts and craftsy and more a little bit like it's meant to be there. I've done a little cascade of stars there and a few little um, bits and pieces there. I feel I might take that gem off, but I'm not sure yet. But that, I think, is that. Yeah, so this is my layout using um, the Stargazing DSP. Um, and trying to show a different way of using the uh, papers to use um, different photographs that aren't about space. Um, I've used the alphabet alpha mode for the title. I've used the um, Reach for the Stars dies to make the Mickey head. And all the stars are from the Reach for the Sky dies. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed my layout. Please leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. Like my, my video and subscribe to my channel. It'd be really helpful. And if you want to say anything about maybe how I could have done the Mickey head a bit better or something like that, please feel free. And um, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>